e-learning with NUT Endo Mother Science School, MENA. <laughs> everyone and welcome to today's English session with your one and only teacher Francis. How are you all doing at home today? I believe everyone is doing fine and um, you're staying safe at home. Yes, today's class is going to be very interesting as usual. I have today's topic written right there on the slide. I want you all to take your pen and paper, write today's date, write your class, the topic, reflexive pronouns. Stutter, correct the following sentences. People should learn to love themselves. I hope you have seen yourselves. It is good we help ourselves. Yes, that is the starter. Correct the sentences. Have you been able to do that? Let's move to the correction. Now, I want you to write down this correction. People should learn to love one another, not themselves. I hope you have seen each other, not yourselves. It is good we help each other, not ourselves. So if you written that, we're going to be discussing on reflexive pronouns. And that is why we have that as a starter. Reflexive pronouns. I believe everyone knows what pronouns is. Yes. We are told that pronouns are words used in place of a noun. Some say they are used instead of a noun. Now, when we talk about reflexive pronoun, it's about yourself. It's about the character that takes the action. Now, look at this. Underline the reflexive pronouns in the sentences below. Don't forget, refle reflexive pronoun is about yourself. When an action is carried out, the action affects the person that carries it out. Now, let's see what we have. The kitten is old enough to feed itself. The kitten is old enough to feed itself. The woman did the work all by herself. This is automatic care. It drives itself. I knew I would do well at the interview. I have confidence in myself. Don't forget it's about reflexive pronouns. And you know what pronouns are. Now let's see what are reflexive pronouns. Reflexive pronouns. These are words which show that the action in the sentence has its effect on the person or thing that does the action. Now what it simply means is if teacher Francis has done his homework, now this action will be reflecting on teacher Francis. Yes, he did his homework by himself. Yes, it simply means that it was teacher Francis that did his homework and nobody else helped him out in doing his homework. Now let's look at the examples. We have myself, yourself, himself, herself, itself, oneself, ourselves, yourselves, themselves. Now all these are what reflexive pronouns. Examples and sentences. The kitten is old enough to feed itself. My simple means the kitten is taking the action by itself, not by someone else. The woman did the work all by herself. She didn't give it to someone else to do the work for her. She did it herself. This is automatic care. It drives itself. 
Yes, the car drives itself. The car doesn't wait for mommy and daddy to drive it. No, it drives itself. And you, I will do well at the interview. I have confidence in myself. I do not have confidence in my friends. I do not have confidence in others. I have confidence in myself because I will be the one going for the interview. So myself, itself, herself, are the reflexive pronoun in the sentences right so far. We won't buy tires since the car itself is old. Now itself is a reflexive pronoun. One must be permitted to do things oneself. One must be permitted to do things oneself. Yes, you don't need mommy and daddy to do it for you. You ought to do it yourself. He told me himself, so it must be true. Yes, he told me himself, so it must be true. Yes, this is the one that told me about it. It must be true. So himself is a reflexive pronoun in the sentence. You will hurt yourself if you play with the blade. By the time you play with sharp objects, it is you who gets to suffer from the cut or the injury sustained. Now you are going to ask yourself if you play with the blade. Yourself is a reflexive pronoun. I did the work myself. Yes, I didn't give it to Sahar to do it for me. I didn't give it to Camilla to do it for me. I didn't give it to Sophia to do it for me. I did it myself, not JC. You know. Now let's look at this. Itself, herself, itself, himself, itself also, oneself, himself, yourself, and myself are all reflexive pronouns in the sentences. Let's look at this. Differences between the personal pronoun and the reflexive pronoun. Now, the personal pronoun is talking about I, while the reflexive pronoun is talking about himself. Yes, there is no self added to it. Now, let's see what we have I, myself, you, yourself, he, himself, she, herself. It and then we have itself. All these now we'll see the differences between the personal and the reflexive pronoun. The personal pronoun I, you, he, she, it. Reflexive pronoun myself, yourself, himself, herself, and itself. Let's see what we have now. We have a text to get your modular English book for. Model 7C, page 46 and 47. I would like you to answer question number 1 to 10. Note, text should be done inside the textbook. Let's not forget that pronouns are words used in place of a noun, while personal pronoun, also reflexive pronoun, talks about yourself.